mind, Chippy. What you got? You got a stick. You so happy to be camping? No uh, camping trip is off to a good start without stopping at Target, right? <laughs> We've got a few things. What did you get? Got you a coffee. Good. Hey, campers. Hi. What's up? We are taking our very first trip of 2022 with our camper this weekend. You know, buddy, it's like whenever you get a really cool like bike for Christmas and you can't really use it because there's snow outside. Yeah, right. Except you're gonna try anyway. We're gonna try anyway. So the temperatures this weekend were supposed to be like almost 70 um, and really nice. And then started calling for snow. So there's snow on the ground and then everything just got colder and windy, so. Yeah, it went from being like 68 for a high uh, today to like 38. So yeah, we're about to the campground. We're staying at Babbler State Park in Wildwood, Missouri. We haven't stayed here before, so that's exciting. We didn't film anything last night. Um, we got to the campsite and set everything up and went out to dinner. We went out and got Mexican and... Um, I got nachos. Nachos. And we didn't film anything. So we slept, everybody slept really good. Yeah. The beds were pretty comfortable. We haven't put um, like toppers on them or anything yet, but... So Zoe and I took a walk with Chip this morning and Right now it's 40 degrees outside, but it's gonna get up to 65. So we're gonna do a couple hikes today. Give you a- Hikes? <laughs> yes. Give you a campground tour of Babbler. Um, check out the visitor center, all those things. So really excited. And um, there's a playground we wanna go to later. Oh, yep, there's a playground. Yep. So lots to do today. Try to shake that one up first. <laughs> Pro tip to um, Bisquick, they should put a line on the bottle where to fill to. Somewhere. Because there's no line. Nope. So we could end up with crepes. <laughs> crepes. Who knows? <laughs> what do you think? It looks similar to concrete right now. Okay, so we might need a little more. So we're having breakfast, we're making Bacon and sausage and pancakes. this uh, picnic table cover for a while. It is like the vinyl material, uh, but it's elastic and it comes with bench covers. Sometimes picnic tables aren't uh, in such great shape. So I'm really excited to try this out. This is the table cover. Oh my 
gosh, it smells just like, like a kitty blow up pool. That's what it smells like. I got this on Amazon. I think it was like 20 bucks. I'm trying. <laughs> Maybe it just needs stretched out. It's only elastic on the ends. I thought the whole thing would be elastic. But it's not. Who is that, Chippy? Who is that? You don't like him? Let's go for a hike. Walk. Let's go for a walk through the woods. Your grandmother's house? <laughs> So, it's pretty muddy. It did just Look snow. It's okay, we'll wash them off. It did just snow and now it's 60 degrees, so, you know, it's to be expected, but still. Okay, night two, we're making burgers and hot dogs, which is a classic camping meal, but something we don't always have because we usually make other things. I'm not a big fan of the just hot dogs every meal camping like stereotype. I don't like having um, the same thing at every camp time. I think uh, hot dogs are good once every so often. 
Um, hamburgers are good ones every so often, but I also enjoy fajitas, I enjoy nachos, I enjoy a lot of other things. So, tonight is hamburgers and hot dogs, but not most nights. Right. So we've got burgers. And what are you using, the Weber Gourmet Burger Seasoning? Yeah, it just adds a little bit extra to it for seasoning wise and uh, yeah I'm a huge fan of it yeah it's huge pretty fan. good we always use it even at home yep and then we've got hot dogs um, craft mac and cheese cups which I'm just gonna put in a microwave and then over there in that pan I have baked beans and I have some apples and caramel dip for dessert and we also already had our s'mores so yeah gonna be a good that's dinner. why we're eating dinner late. Right. We already had s'mores. But that's okay. You can do what you want when you camp. That's right. And this guy is he living. Had, he had dinner too. Yeah, and he's living his best life. Chip. Hi, honey. Are you cozy with your new blankie and his pillow that's just for the camper? Okay, so let's talk kitchen functionality. Um, right now we're not doing running water because it still has the chance of freezing. I mean, last night was like in the 20s and then tonight's gonna be 30 for the low. So, still has a chance of freezing, um, so we don't wanna go there. So we're just using um, bottled water or jugs water. We're using paper and plastic on everything. I'm using disinfectant wipes to clean the counters and stuff. Um, so no water, but without that, Everything still seems to be functioning well. I have all my utensils and stuff in here, our big like cups and tumblers in here, our plates and everything up there. So far, so good. So our fridge, um, it's looking kind of empty now, but everything, everything seemed to fit really well. And we also didn't really organize it. Brad just kind of threw everything in here and that was it, called it good. So freezer, we didn't really have much in there. Um, hash browns for the morning and um, the burgers because we froze the meat. So. This, Aside from that, um, everything is working. This is the working out. This is the um, pantry. We have like these like um, rice cake snacks. Yeah. There. We had ones that were like just just cheddar, but we ate all those because we really like them. We need to get some bins and baskets from Dollar Tree to organize it, right? Like these. And then yeah. in here we have all Sissy's clothes and stuff. And then here's all my clothes. I've been outside a lot, so. That works really good. They each have their own drawer. And then with these shelves, I still have plenty of space for all of our pantry needs. And we don't have to get into the cabinets, which is where the dishes are. Pretty good. We enjoyed our stay at Babbler State Park in February. It was cold and snowy, but it was still a really great time. We camped in Site 48, which had a large level paved pad for our camper and plenty of room to park our truck. There was a picnic table, a fire ring, and a lantern pole. With it being February and being cold and snowy, there were not many people in the campground, so our girls and Chip had free run of the area that we were in. We did try to take a hike on the Hawthorne Trail, but with it snowing and then warming up so quickly, it was very muddy and we didn't make it very far. We definitely want to return to Babbler in the summertime to check out all the programs they have and see the visitor center once it is opened. We would highly recommend the state park. Dr. Edmund A. Babbler Memorial State Park 
36 miles east of St. Louis, is one of Missouri's more popular state parks and is an ongoing commemoration of a well-known St. Louis family. The Missouri State Park System was barely 20 years old in 1934 when Jacob and Henry Babbler presented the statue with 88 acres in loving memory of their brother, Edmund, a prominent St. Louis surgeon. Today, Jacob Babbler's dream has evolved into a state park that provides a valuable green space oasis amid an exploding suburban St. Louis landscape. Hiking, nature, studies, and wildlife viewing are popular activities. Hiking and equestrian trails wind their way through the park's narrow coves, deep, sheltered valleys, and towering forests. Numerous picnic sites provide outdoor dining options while enjoying the peace and tranquility of the park. As of today, Babbler State Park sits on 2,441 acres. It is home to 17.2 miles of trails and 75 campsites with one group campsite. There are four accessible sites in the campground. These sites have extended end tables and pedestal grills. The centrally located shower house is accessible by a concrete pathway from an asphalt parking lot with two handicapped spaces. The dump station has been modified to be accessible to most campers. An accessible vault toilet with a paved pathway is available on the lower loop for off-season camping. Babbler State Park also offers the Jacob L. Babbler Outdoor Education Center. This amenity is a full-service, barrier-free resident camp containing paved pathways, cabins, a dining hall, a recreation hall, and a swimming pool. The camp can accommodate 112 residents in an active area surrounded by scenic woodland. hope you enjoyed our video. Make sure you like and subscribe. We'll see you at the next mile marker. Come try. No, thank you. That's it. You can turn it off now. Shh, I'm a cinematographer. You what? A cinematographer.